Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Aiden Kosick and today we are going to be talking about Pet Cemetery. <laughs> so Pet Cemetery is the latest of a long line of films to get a remake off of its original film based off of the novels by Stephen King. And this movie is a lot of fun. I mean, I'm not really going to take too much time to explain the plot because it's pretty self-explanatory. There's a pet cemetery. You take your pets there that are dead. They come back to life. They haunt you. It is what it is. You know the movie. But one thing that I will say, if you have seen the original, it pretty much does follow those beats. And if you're even remotely interested in seeing this version of it and you haven't seen a trailer and you're thinking about going to go check out a trailer, don't go watch the trailer. This is another film that has fallen victim to the worst showing the entire movie in the trailer. Almost every single one of the jump scares doesn't really, didn't work for me. And we're talking about a horror movie. I will be talking about the acting and all that stuff in a minute. But, you know, this is a horror movie. Let's talk about the horror stuff first. You know, it is scary. But if that trailer hadn't shown every one of the jump scares and every one of the twists that this movie had to offer... It might have been a lot scarier and it might have been a little bit more enjoyable. Now, don't take that and say, oh, he's bashing the movie. It's a fun movie. I mean, definitely, if you're going to go see it, go see it opening weekend so that way you get that fun crowd experience. I think this movie really succeeds with the physical horror and the actual physicality that some of the actors and actresses do in this movie. Some of the stuff is really creepy. But with that... Some of it runs the line of being a little silly. And I know it's a horror movie, so you get scared and you kind of laugh it off with the rest of the audience, and that's how it typically goes. But there's a couple scenes in this movie where it's trying really hard to be scary, and it just comes across as really goofy. In particular, there's a scene with Jason Clark laying down with his daughter. Honestly, just couldn't help but laugh at the movie the whole time. It's the face that she kind of makes, it's a little too goofy for me. But speaking of Jason Clark. As I said in my aftermath review, Jason Clark is a pure workhorse actor. He is amazing, and I love to see his descent from just your regular everyday dad who works a day job into this descent of this really mad, crazy kind of man, similar to how we're getting with Joaquin Phoenix and the Joker and his daughter in the movie, who's played by Jet Lawrence, I believe is how you say that. I'm not quite sure. She was great in this movie. At first, I thought she was going to be our protagonist of it, and they kind of pull you with a bait and switch in the middle of the movie that, you know, again, I don't really want to talk too much about. She was great. She's really charismatic. She's believable. And I don't want to knock the Dumbo movie again, but it's one of those things where child actors can act. It's not just because they're little and they don't have the experience. I never once thought, oh, this is just a little kid that they got in this movie. They got really lucky. She was great in this movie. She's actually my favorite next to John Lithgow, who steals every scene that he's in. John Lithgow is always great in everything, but you, you really buy into him as the old grandfather that you can kind of lean your shoulder on, and you really buy the chemistry between him and Jet Lawrence's character. I think the only performance that I'm kind of sad to say that I didn't really buy into the whole time, and I'm honestly still kind of thinking about it, I'm not quite sure if it was the storyline that this character took, or if it was due to the acting capability, because... Like I said, some of the stuff in this movie does come across a little silly. Amy Simons, who plays the mother. You know, at first I really bought her. I mean, you do buy her relationship with Jason Clark and the rest of the family proper, but she has this weird kind of storyline that's lingering with her, and it's kind of got this PTSD element. And I'm telling you, 80% of this movie, she's just shaking and looking at everywhere, just wandering and not understanding what's going on and it does kind of get annoying this movie kind of does have some pacing issues some pretty minor pacing issues at first i was really on board because it kind of just cuts straight to the pet cemetery stuff it's what you're paying the ticket for it's what you want to see let's get you there right away and it didn't feel a little it did feel a little jarring but i was like okay we're just going there first but we get there and we wait and it's like what my grandmother and I who work together on our other job, we call our business hurry up and wait. There's a lot of hurry up and wait in this movie. There's a lot of, we're going to rush through all of this, and then the story's just going to linger for the next 10 minutes and nothing's going to happen. And then we're going to keep going, and now we're back. 
and that just kind of grated on me a little bit. I wanted the deep dive into these characters and what their relationship is and what was going on with Amy Simet's character in the past and you know I just didn't really like the way that they did that. But I will say this movie is bold. It has been six years since I've seen The Last Pet Cemetery. I was like 13 and playing Pokemon on my DS while watching it so I didn't really get all of it. I don't even remember how it ended and I'm pretty sure that the endings of both of these movies are not similar. This movie has a bold ending and I 100% want to give them their props on that. I'm not sure if it's going to play well to a lot of audiences. I know half my audience was like, that sucked. And I'm kind of in the side of the audience that was kind of like, okay, I kind of like where they took that. Overall, Pet Cemetery is a fun movie, pretty entertaining. I love where we're going with these recent horror movies where they're way more mature. I know that that's kind of weird to say horror movies are mature considering most of them are rated R. But... They're not treating us like we're idiots anymore. And I'm really appreciating that these days from horror movies. So studios, please keep it up. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to have to give the movie about a 7 out of 10. It's the same feeling I had when I left Captain Marvel. I think I rated that a little bit higher. But if I could, I would kind of want to retract that back to about a 7 out of 10. Definitely what you want to see from Pet Cemetery. A lot of fun. Go see it opening weekend. If you aren't going to go see Shazam, which honestly, if I had to pick one or the other, it would definitely be Shazam. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, click the like button, comment down below. What did you guys think about Pet Cemetery? Do you want to go see Pet Cemetery? Did you go see Pet Cemetery? All that, you know what I say, you know what I do. Please be sure to check out my social media in the links below. And just thank you guys so much and have a good day.